In this tutorial, you will see the different options coming under the Sketch-based Features Toolbar. How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In order to do any sketch-based features, firstly you need to have a sketch. So I'll create basic rectangle and then let's first try the pad option. Click on the pad and then you can see an option called as profile. Click here, click on the profile. Then you have an option to specify the length. If you specify around uh, 50 mm, click on OK, you get the pad. As you can see here, the sketch was placed on this plane and the pad was given on this direction. So you could always go back to the history, double click here and you will get the same option. And then you can go for reverse direction. If you do that, the pad is going to work out on the other direction. Now let's try 25 and let's try a mirror extent. So if you do this, the thickness will be divided on the either directions of the plane. Now let's try something at 25 and a 75 on one side. So let's give 25 here. Disable the mirror extent, go for more and give here 75. Now as you can see, one side it's 25 and one side 75 in pad. Click on OK and our pad will be created based on the dimensions we have given. Now let's try how the pocket works. To do a pocket, you need to have another sketch. Pocket is creating a hollow on a solid object. So let's create the sketch and select this as a sketching plane and create another sketch here. Exit the sketch. Now let's try the pocket. Click on the preview and you can see the pocket is created. You have different options here like up to next that creates a pocket up to the next element or else you could go for the dimension and specify the dimension as you wish. Okay, that's about the pocket. Next we will see how can you use the shaft command. In order to use the shaft command, as I said before, you need to have a sketch. So let's create let's use the sketch based feature. More time. But don't worry, don't worry about the figures. We just am creating something. Let's create a line here and fix that line. So whatever it is, once you just exit the sketch, 
and go for a shaft then create this select the sketch and then go for the axis as Z axis you will be getting an object which revolves and uh, creates it just revolves the sketch we made so in order to see the sketch just unhide it from the specification tree and as you can see this is how it will be now we'll see the remaining options in the sketch base feature in our coming tutorial thank you so much for watching stay tuned